Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create this creative text animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. So, if you are new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects, let's create a new composition, I'll call it as main animation Width is 1920, height 180, frame rate 30, duration is 15 seconds and background color, I'm going to choose white color and simply hit OK Then go to choose grid and guide option and hit on title section Then I'm going to select my text tool and I'll type my first text From the font, I'm going to choose also font uh, like this And color, I'm going to choose black color at least for now and type T I'll select this text, I'll press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. I'll go to the Align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Then press S for scaling option and scale it like this. And go to the character menu and I'm going to choose a regular version of this font. Select this text, let's move this over here. Select this text and hit Ctrl D. Let's move this over here and I'll call it as H. And let's adjust the position of it like this. Select this, uh, this text with Ctrl D. Let's call it as I. Hit Ctrl D. Okay, so this is new text. I'll select this text and I'll address it properly like this. Okay, hit U. Then we will create one box. I'll delete this fill like this. And we will create one stroke. I'll create one stroke like this. And let's create one shape like this. Okay, now after that, select this text, I mean this shape, and let's make the stroke with 10 pixels like this. Then go to the add menu and I'm going to choose trim path. Let's go to the trim path and we need to bring this scale value over here. I mean start value over here like this. Or uh, let's make this 90 first. Or let's say 10. And then change this offset somewhere around over here like this. And now we will decrease the end value like this. So we will get something like this. Okay. Now let's go to the contents menu. We will add one trim path again. Let's go to the trim path and let's make this end property zero. Create one keyframe. Go to around one second and let's make this hundred. Select those keyframes and hit F9. And if you hit play, we will get something like this. Now after that, this is. Uh, the stroke animation which we will hide now we have to focus on this text so for this text what I first of all I'll start with T so right click keep create shape from text and let's delete this T we don't want that and now we will focus on only this so I'll click on this icon I'll go to the path I mean search bar and I'll search for path and I'll create one keyframe okay then select your selection tool select all this path and by holding shift or before that hit ctrl r to create this ruler and we will bring one line over here so we can see properly in one line over here like this and initially let's move this downwards like this okay go to around 10 frames select this much portion and let's move this over here like this go to around 20 frames then we will select this portion and we will move this over here so if I hit play I'll get something like this now select those keyframes and hit F9 ok after that I want this edge to start animate and for this edge what I'm gonna do again right click go to the create create shape from text and we'll enable this end also and we will choose this as a reference we will select this text layer press T and let's make this 40 like this okay now we will select this 
then again we will go to the search bar and we will type path and we will create one keyframe hit u and let's select this much portion and let's move this over here go to around 10 frames let's select this downward portion and i'll adjust it up to here go to around 20 frames i'll select this much portion and i'll adjust it over here then go to around one second then i'll select this much portion and i'll adjust it over here select those key frames and hit it okay so if i see this animation and do something like this let's delete this extra uh, edge layer so now we have two animations for this edge and this t then we have this i so for that i what i'm gonna do uh, let's uh, let's go to the start and let's enable this option press y and by holding control i'll snap this anchor point over here like this or uh, instead of that again we will right click go to the keyframe shape from text and we will delete not delete but we will choose this as a reference press p and let's make this opacity 40. select this outline go to the search bar and type path and create one keyframe like this select this much portion uh, sorry select this path select your selection tool and select this much portion and i'll adjust it for you here go to around 10 frames select this portion only and I'll move this over here okay then we will select this much portion sorry uh, I'll get something like this go to around 20 frames we will select this portion and we will move this over here okay so try to adjust the position of it like this with you select those key frames and hit F okay so if i see i'll get this animations like this then after that we need, we don't need to animate this end why we will we will see it later now we have to focus on this key first so let's do one thing i'm going to select my pen tool and i'm, I'm going to make this stroke with 15 like this then i'll create one stroke from here and let's increase the stroke width somewhere around this press ctrl auto go to the align tab and align it vertically like this then select the shape layer with ctrl d press r for rotation and we will rotate it like this okay uh, and let's make this 30 and try to cover this key portion okay select the shape layer with ctrl d press r and let's rotate it like this okay select this and try to cover up this key oh. press g to select your pen tool select this point and try to adjust properly okay then we will select this point also then we will select this portion You go to the start, select this, each see which shape layer is this. okay. Now we will select them and we will bring this towards the key. Then select one shape layer, go to the add menu and we will choose trim path. Go to the trim path and let's make this initial zero, create one keyframe. Zoom in, go to around 20 to let's say 15 frames. Let's make this 100 and let's go to the somewhere around in the middle of it create one keyframe at the start go to around over here and let's make this 100 again uh, select those keyframes and hit it so if i see this animation i'll get something like this you can select those keyframes and you can bring them a little bit forward like this now select this frame path hit ctrl c select all of them and hit ctrl v and hit u so i'll get something like this now at this point i want this space in the appear so i will select, select this and i move this over here and hit u so i'll get this kind of over here okay now uh, this stroke should be a little bit over 
Rupio. Okay. All of them and I'll call it as control. I'll press control should see in, in call it as key because they should be on the separated bill. Okay, so now keyframes for each and every one is done. Now let's go inside this key. I'll go to you. I'll select all the keyframes. I'll go to the graph editor. I'll select this one, all of this by holding shift one handle over here and one handle over here, like this. Okay, now go over here. This uh, key thing is done. Now uh, we have this I hit U. Uh, select those keyframes. Go to the graph editor. Select this graph. Hold shift. Move one handle over here and one handle over here like this. Okay. And this end should start to appear over here. So I move this over here and bring this after this key. This uh, extra I we need to delete it like this. Okay. We'll get something like this. Now we have to adjust the position of each and every character. So for that, let's hide all of them. First, I want this T should animate. So I'll select this T. I'll hit you. Select those keyframes. And as always, we will adjust the graph editor like this. Then at this point, I want this X should start animate. I'll hit you. Select those keyframes. And adjust the graph editors like this. Okay. And at this point, I want this I and should start to animate, so I'll move them over here like this. Okay, and what I'm gonna do at this point, somewhere around over here, I'll select this and I'll press P for position. And let's move this over here. I'll create one keyframe over here, go keyframe forward, create another keyframe. Go to the start and let's move this end over here like this. So I'll get this kind of animation. So select this keyframe, hit F9, go to the graph editor, select this graph also, move this angle over here. Like this. Okay, so if you see this, we get something like this. Then I want this key should start to appear over here like this. Okay, then uh, as you guys know that we have this extra box over here. I'll select this box, I'll hit you, and I'll bring this keyframe over here. Let's move this over here. We will select this keyframe like this, select those, and then go to the graph editor and adjust the graph editor like this. Now we will add our another text for like this. I'm going to select this text. I'll press Ctrl Alt Home to align the anchor point to the center like this. You will uh, select this text and hit Enter like this. Select all of them. Go to the paragraph and choose left align text. Go to the character menu and we will increase the size of it. Now select this text and let's move this over here like this. Let's make this 75% or let's make this 65% like this. Now at this point I want the text should start to animate so I'll go to the animate menu and I'm going to choose position. Let's decrease this downwards. Let's go to the add menu, go to the property and choose the I mean opacity and let's make this opacity zero. Go to the ring selector, one keyframe at the start at three seconds. Let's make this hundred. 
select those keyframes, hit F9, go to the graph editor, select this graph, hold shift and at this design just like this and leave it, this kind of animation then go to the advanced options and character, I will choose words and hit new so if I see this animation now I will get something like this okay, now select all of them, I will press ctrl shift c and I will call it as text animation and I'll hit OK and double click to open this press F4 select all of them and enable the motion blur go inside this case also press F4 and enable this motion blur so if I see this animation I'll get a little bit of motion blur along with this animation now hit Ctrl D up to 5 times so we'll get 5 copies go to the start and go to the effect and presets panel and we need to apply fill effect on it so I'll apply fill effect I'll choose red color for the fourth layer apply fill effect and choose green color go in third layer I'll apply fill effect and I'll choose blue color uh, uh, so second layer enable this option and apply find edge effect on it and invert this effect uh, or you uh, can simply remove this because we don't have the more black background over here so it's not gonna necessary you can simply give it this one and now let's go to the start press page down button one time or two times move this over here again two times move this over here again two times and move this over here so we will get this kind of rgb effect over here and if you want this distance then we can decrease the distance like this okay so you can do this one also like this then right click and create a null object select all of them and make it parent with this null one select this new one press s let's make this one one five create one two three and then go to let's say five seconds and let's make this one zero zero and hit s so if i see this animation i will get something like this then press p for position alt click on the stopwatch and apply visual expression and type 4 comma 4 so along with this animation we will get a little bit of wiggle effect also like this ok so this is how you can create some creative text animations inside of after effect so that's it for the today's video we will see you in my next video so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned